All right. So, remember yesterday I told you that I was going to talk about Brendan Leipzig? Because he's a trashy player. And he's a trashy person. And he looks ugly too. He has like, there was this Canucks group chat where he like called someone's wife fat or something. He's like. Tanner Pearsons. How do you know? Oh, how I remember do, seeing How do you remember that? Or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and recently there's, he's a, apparently he's in Russia. But he's like maybe a low key poon supporter. Mm. Also, that's my belt, the brown one. Did you take off your belt in my room one day? Wait, is that that's not your belt, right? Um, that's my belt. Why do you have my belt? Swiss gear. Oh, that's not my belt. The fuck is this guy <laughs> talking about right now? <laughs> Sorry, I have the brown on the one side and the top. <laughs> Sorry. So Brandon Leipzig, right? He wants to be a, a Russian citizen. Apparently, he's like all about that side. Mm. And I was going to talk about it, but I was like, ah, like, I don't want to really promote him. And then him and Poon is like too much trash, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. This is going to be like my first format video. Do I want to talk about trash? So I decided to go for more of a pure character. Mm. Wow. It's a person who is famous for telling his players to go where the puck is going to be. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you have an idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A person who says that you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Michael Scott. (laughs) Also known as the great one, Mm -hmm. Wayne Gretzky. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, this conspiracy starts in one of the biggest, greatest NHL franchises in history. The Arizona Coyotes. Mm. (laughs) So, in 2006, while Wayne Gretzky was coaching the great Arizona Coyotes. Mm -hmm. Yes. His assistant coach, Rick Tockett, was accused and charged with running an illegal underground gambling ring in New Jersey. What? Yeah. Can I be a part of that? (laughs) (laughs) No, because he was facing up to 10 years in jail. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was pretty serious. The bets totaled $1.7 million USD over the span of 30 days. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And also included some movie stars and hockey players named Jeremy Roenick. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Not surprised. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, he looks like a sleazeball. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, this is where I should mention, this is only a theory. <laughs> but I'm just, I just brought some facts mm-hmm. for us to talk about mm. and for people to listen to and make their own conclusions. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, it's just a theory. So anyways, Jeremy Roenick and his longtime buddy, Rick Tockett's buddy, Travis Green. Oh, wow. Wow, what a Canucks connection. Who, uh, apparently they're still close to this mm. day. Little side note. Mm. It's not relevant though, which is kind of cool. Or is it? Exactly. So eventually, Rick Tockett pleaded guilty of all charges. He actually pleaded guilty. When was this? 2006. Oh, shit. Okay. And he didn't go to jail because he pleaded guilty. Okay. And you might be wondering now, how does this relate to Wayne Gretzky? Right. After all, Taki was the assistant coach. Right. And Wayne was the head coach. Mm-hmm. It's like you had a coworker who just did some bad things, right? Right. It's, you're not a part of it. Mm. Or. <laughs> <laughs> or. And that's true. Wayne, there was no evidence whatsoever that Wayne Gretzky was a part of the ring. Right. He was not charged. Police didn't find any evidence that Wayne Gretzky had any affiliation with the gambling ring. Mm-hmm. But someone else close to Wayne Gretzky was charged. So police found evidence and she was charged. Under the same, with the same. That she was placing bets <sighs> in the underground illegal gambling ring. Right. That Tockett was facing up to 10 years in prison. So someone close to Wayne Gretzky was placing bets. Mm-hmm. Guess who that is? His wife? Yeah. Of course. Well, why, yeah. of course? Because, well, like, those, you know, <sighs> listen, you have to be some kind of woman, I think, to be with the great one. Really? And, like, maybe, like, you know, in order to be with the great one, you got to do great things. And great things, unfortunately, great things in this equaling... situation. Maybe great could be, a, you know, very subjective, but, you know, great things could be, like, winning a great load of money. And according to New Jersey police, Wayne knew about the gambling ring before Tockett was charged. Mm. So he knew about the ring. Right. And police have evidence because they were phone tapping Wayne oh, Gretzky. Oh, shit. Damn. FBI shit. Yeah. Shit. What was he saying about it? 
it wasn't released in detail. Mm-hmm. So this story is weird because it kind of came into the public and then just disappeared. Right. Why, 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 why wouldn't people talk about it more? It's like, I mean, maybe because like gambling why? sponsors weren't a part of like the, the leagues. Maybe so they long should ago. cover it up. Mm. Maybe that's why Talk It pleaded guilty. In defense of? The great oh, one. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. So we're saying that Big Boss. I'm I'm oh, not saying shit. anything. I'm just saying <laughs> something is fishy. Because yeah. you're telling me that Wayne Gretzky's wife right. found, I don't know what happened. Right. She Maybe she called Rick Tockett and then she mo- went to New Jersey, placed bets in an underground illegal ring. She found out. And then why would she place bets? Right. Where would she? like? So you're telling me that his wife had connection to Rick Tockett, his co-worker, finds out about an illegal gambling ring huh. and place bets? It's weird, isn't Doesn't it? That makes sense. Really, really weird. Mm. So people are saying or speculating that since Wayne knew about it, he maybe not be as clean. So people are saying maybe he placed bets under his wife's name. For sure. 100%. He 100%? Did. 100%. There's no he evidence. Did. Here's the thing about people in power, and here's the thing about people like Wayne Gretzky, man. They got ways. Wayne Gretzky's not going to walk into an underground gambling ring. But you think a man with that much money ain't going to do? I mean, he didn't make that much money. He made like a million dollars a year. <sighs> you don't think with like sponsorship? I guess he doesn't really do much. I, yeah, I guess. I don't know about sponsorships. He has like his wine. Anyways. His wine? Wayne Gretzky has a wine company. He has <laughs> really? A wine. Yeah, you did not know that, dude. No. Wayne Gretzky, I'm pretty really? sure. Really? What's it called? Wayne Gretzky Vineyards. I'm oh really? God, uh, wow. good. No, actually, that's, cool. that's guaranteed the wrong name, but it's Wayne Gretzky. Where did something. he get the money to start up that business? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> New Jersey. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, maybe Rick Tockett was saving the great one. And this also occurred to me, too, because you know how people, there's conspiracy theories where people think the owner of Disney, like the original founder of Disney, is frozen. Right, right, right. So they think that they made the movie frozen so that when you search on Google, it's just the movie Frozen, not Here the Disney owner Frozen, right? So this is actually like my thinking. I was like, and you know, it's weird. I felt, I always thought it was so weird that Wayne Gretzky, he's the great one. He's the best NHL player of all time, right? Leader in goals, assists, points. People don't know Crosby. People don't know McDavid. Mm-hmm. People know Wayne Gretzky, at least somewhat. Mm-hmm. And he's doing like gambling ads right now. Isn't that weird? Like he has, he was doing ads like for MGM, Bet 365 he has he's sponsoring like some gambling app mm. so i was thinking what if he's just trying to cover up that scandal holy shit so when when i searched up wayne gretzky to do the research i had to specify illegal gambling oh. ring in the google search bar because otherwise it would just direct you right to the ads exactly that's fucking i like that title frozen that's fucking nuts but one thing is for certain we will never know how much Wayne Gretzky was involved in that illegal gambling ring. And that's it. Dude, I'm telling you right <laughs> the fuck. I'm telling you right the fuck now. This, I see a movie poster already, right? It's Rick Tockett. He's getting criminally charged. But guess who's in the background in the shadow? Guess who the figure in the background that, is? The real power. The real power. You don't see his face, but we all know who he is. He doesn't seem like that kind of person, though. He seems such a nice, like, good Canadian boy. Do you remember American Psycho? He wasn't like he didn't seem like. That yeah, he guy. did. No, no, no. He, he was very. He was, oh, yeah. he, was talk- <laughs> he was talking about killing people, and he was laughing to his coworkers. That's a joke. Dude. People laugh about that all the time. <laughs> I guarantee you, Wayne Gretzky is a part of that. Like, there ain't no way. It's but it's funny because p- the police was phone tapping him. Right. Why would yeah? But they didn't find evidence. Uh, there must be some sort of when you tap your phone right you're tapping one specific phone but right? it's 2006 right also you don't think he has some burner phones mm. really is that smart eh no sorry no. I'm just thinking like how does Rick Tockett have the knowledge he's just a hockey player right how does he have the knowledge to run an illegal underground gambling ring too is well, he's just a hockey player. I don't know. Like a lot a lot of athletes are uh, like want to gamble you know what I mean they like there's always gambling <laughs> stories right apparently after he pleaded guilty and like few months or years later he was on like poker stars or something <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what are you? and travis green goes on poker stars too. really i'm pretty sure there's like he goes on the tour dude they're all gambling addicts right but like you can't mm-hmm. legally bet on because what were they sorry what were they betting on they're so they didn't say they bet on hockey right so other sports like 
Why did Super it have to be illegal? Bowl. So it was illegal in that it was like under like they were running the operation. It wasn't through like a casino. Yeah, or I, I was wondering why is it, why would it be illegal? Like, why don't they just bet at a casino? Because right. like, I'm sh- pretty sure New Jersey is legal back then to do gambling. So why run your own ring? Do they want to make money? Well, they didn't make much. They only made like they, it was only like max bet of like 1.7 million dollars. Or was that all that was stated? <laughs> all that the police could find. Yo, I just, I don't know. I just feel like hockey players don't have that knowledge mm. to do that. Because even like people with knowledge, they can't. Maybe it's different because it's two thousand six. I just think that's no... underestimating. Yeah, I think that like, dude, there's there were smart people back then. Dude, like, are you kidding me? Like, think back to like Peaky Blinder days. <laughs> I didn't see that. Do you have to watch Peaky Blinders? It's a fantastic show. And and Oppenheimer. If you're going to mention Oppenheimer, the lead character uh, actor of Oppenheimer is the lead in Peaky Blinders. So. Mm-hmm. Ty. Anyways, um, <laughs> so you think he was a part of it, hundred percent? I hundred percent. And you're believe saying it, that I am underestimating these people. Of course. And dude, 2006. Like, you don't think like, dude, people were running illegal operations all throughout the 1900s, all throughout the like. You're talking like 2006 is old. So like, are you no saying way. that they may, might have connections to p- people that are used to running these illegal rings? I mean, hey, depending on the scale. I mean, if it was true that 1.7 was all that was gambled. I'm sure it was it wasn't that large of an operation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It doesn't but, sound like it, right? But yeah, like I think that like players, athletes, people with money, humans in general, we are greedy, and we love gambling. I don't like gambling. You're a liar. <laughs> I don't like statistically. You're never gonna win. But what about that throw? That you you sound different when we're at the casino <laughs> and sitting at a machine. Well, you sound hey, different. when I go to the casino, I go there to lose money. Yeah, we know we're gonna lose. I'm never expecting to win. <laughs> well, they do though. And you know what the best part about going to the casino with you is? Mm. I get to see you lose. <laughs> <laughs> we lose together. Exactly. Okay, that's that's the, the that's the fun of it. Oh, Not making money. Us just losing together. And being dumbasses. And the thing is, it, it does hurt less when you hurt when you hurt together. And that's the thing we remember. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that's crazy. Honestly, like I guarantee you, one thousand percent. One thousand percent. As soon as you heard it, oh, you, for, you knew. Exactly. Of course, of wow. course. And the thing too is, like, the only reason I think about this too is, like, I remember like JJ Reddick's podcast. They were talking about his story, his time with like the Philadelphia 76ers and like the team planes. Mm-hmm. And on those planes, they would play like card games and whatever, yeah. where they yeah. would be betting like twenty thousand yeah. dollars, like crazy sums of money. Yeah. And it's funny though, because they were saying like some rookies would get involved and like the older vets would be like, yo, 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 like you don't have the money. <laughs> like these guys are getting paid like millions of dollars. You Damn. don't got it. So how much are they really bit? Ba- Just on a plane, yeah. right? So a five hour plane ride, you could yeah. be down a hundred K essentially if you suck. Yeah, <laughs> no. Like Michael Jordan, I don't gamble a lot and that's all documented. Right. Maybe that's why they wanted it illegal because they didn't want people to document publicity. Wayne Yeah, Publicity. Yeah. Exactly, because they're trying to keep the great ones purity. Like that's it's, yeah, that's exactly. That's what you it. think it is. I think a guarantee. So Wayne was smart enough to place bets under his wife's name. Right, but even that, I feel like, man, I think that's stupid. Like it's it's smart, obviously smarter than him placing it himself. Yeah, but like you gotta go a little bit deeper than your wife. Like you gotta go like. Why didn't he do that though? You just said we're underestimating these people. We could both underestimate and overestimate at the same time. Like, it's, it's, okay. it's you know what I mean? Change like, your goal, no, 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 Okay, no, no. change your parameters. Wayne can be a smart man, but humans make mistakes. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Maybe he underestimated everyone else that would be connecting. Mm. Well, I don't know. I, I still think he's stupid. Why the fuck would you use your <laughs> wife? What the fuck? Like, actually, now that I think more and more about it, like, come on, Wayne. So apparently, when you bet, that's not illegal. Okay. Oh, the person betting the is not illegal. Okay. Running the li- running the ring is illegal. Without licenses or whatever that you might need. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So maybe he thought, oh, it's just kind of innocent, you know, it's not legal. So I'm supporting my friend's business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Speaking of friends, it's mm. weird, right? Travis Green too and Rick Tockett, they're still friends. And just like not to mention, like obviously the elephant in the room. <laughs> So what happened? Like the Canucks. Oh yeah. Former coach, current coach. It's a little, little weird. Yeah. I was just gonna ask though, like what were the conclusions? That's because you said like nothing happened. They didn't press like not, like. So you think they the NHL just paid like a fine probably, and then just kept a hush hush like. I don't know who would the NHL even pay the fine to. Uh, New right. Jersey police. <laughs> like, 
I don't know. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's just weird. No one really knows about it. Yeah. Like when you think about Wayne Gretzky gambling ads, right? Yeah, you yeah. don't think about illegal gambling no, ring, no. right? So who knows what happened? This is like, you know, initials like bad at marketing. Right. But this, if they succeeded in this, they did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> they did a great job. So they're good. No. So they're not good at marketing though. They're just fucking good at they're good hiding at, shit. Exactly. Which is still a talent. I mean, that's that's actually kind of true, too. Because yeah. all the sexual assault cases. Exactly. Now that I wow. think about it. Wow. Right? Well, next week. We <laughs> <laughs> the Chicago what, what, Blackhawks. What was his name? Uh, Kyle Beach. Kyle Beach, yeah. yeah. That's sad how I forgot his name. Yeah. Because no one really talks about him anymore. No. To be honest with you, though, like, why? W- you know what I mean, though? Like, I, it's awful what happened, but, like, even if like like you hear of a like a sexual assault case somewhere else, it's like you don't you don't like keep thinking about that. It's just like you know what I mean. It's kind of just like oh sh- that's shitty that happened. But like if we keep thinking about it, isn't it almost more hurtful? Well, you should remember what happened because if you forget, then it's probably gonna repeat. Is it? I hope it wouldn't. <laughs> like I just hope like you oh, know. do you know um the World Juniors? I think they're yeah. gonna release the players. That's right. All the this, tw- oh, what year? All the guys. Apparently, mm. we might. They might not. Mm. Hockey is maybe they're just good at covering shit up. Yeah, I think I feel like NBA almost embraces those things. NFL, <laughs> I don't think they embrace it. They, they don't have, accept they don't, it. Yeah, exactly. Right. They they don't try to control as much. Maybe they just can't. <laughs> like you <laughs> know, it's too just, it's much. Just too much. NBA, like, NFL is too much. It, literally, like the it, amount. That's every, true though. Every year, the NFL, like it, you could literally just count the number of fucking awful off off the field stories. Like even Deshaun Watson last year, right? Yeah. Fucking masseuse. Yeah. Robert Kraft. Like, yeah, you can just go down it's the list. Like, um, NFL, it's hard to hide crimes because there's evidence, like video evidence. Like, what was that guy's name that I traded for? Kareem Hunt? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, he, he, there was a sexual assault case that okay. he hit a woman in a hotel. Or hit a man. Hit a, he had a man in a hotel. Okay. He was running back. And then Adrian gave him, gave him to me. I gave him. Oh, Alvin Kamara. Oh, sorry. Kamara, so, Kamara, yeah. Kamara, Kamara. I can't believe I didn't hit So basketball. you might have to edit this out. So I got Alvin Kamara. I have no idea who he is, yeah. but he was on the market. So I was like, he seems pretty good last year, right? And then I was like, oh, this guy is this whole assault case, Alvin Kamara. And I was like, shit, is he going to get suspended? You know, I got to be my friend. Fantasy, <laughs> <laughs> fantasy football. And then his video came out, right? So it kind of looked like, I don't remember. But it kind of looked like he got hit first, and it wasn't even him hitting okay. the person. It was more of his friends hitting that guy. Okay. It, it, like, quotation protection. Yeah. That's what I saw. Yeah. And I was like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> He's clean! Yes, dude, that's amazing. But that is another element of fantasy football. <laughs> oh, dude, the fact that you have to, I, I, like, okay, wait, is, are there any, like, you know, news reports? Go on, pixel him? by pixel. <laughs> like, where is his hand right now? <laughs> yeah, frame by it. Oh, God, that's so funny. But that is the stuff that NHL doesn't have, obviously. Mm. So it's just, I'm just saying, it's easier to cover shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you had that on video, it's like all over the news. You what was the most it, recent right? NHL? I mean, other, sorry, maybe like, well, actually, I guess anything in general. I'm just trying to think, like, the Evander Kane story? Is that the most recent, like, For big... sexual assault? No, not necessarily sexual assault. Just, assault? like, off-ice issue. Like, he's been I'm pretty quiet. More recent ones. He went to Edmonton. He's pretty quiet. Yeah, I guess since then he's been quiet. Recent one... I mean, Tony D'Angelo. Okay, but I, that's... For, we don't know what happened behind the locker room. Yeah. But he got... Everyone hated him, so there must have been something. Mm-hmm. Um... I don't remember. It is pretty lacking in stories like that, though. Yeah, it, it really maybe is. the NHL is just good at hiding shit. I mean, that's where all the fucking marketing, yeah, that's all the money's going into. It's just like, <laughs> suppressing shit. They have nothing else to. They have no more They're money. Just to the lawyers and. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well, yeah, I'm very surprised that you thought Wayne Gretzky was a thousand percent. Oh god, it's not even a question. It's not even a question. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? You know what it is. Maybe talk to me ten years ago. Mm-hmm. I would have been like, no, Wayne, <laughs> not the great one. You never even liked Wayne. I know, I never liked Wayne. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, but, but. Like, I would have been like, no way. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But, dude, like, you just realized, dude, people with money. Yeah. Majority. Of the, I hope Wayne Gretzky didn't. Actually, I don't really care to be honest with you. But, like. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like. True. I, I, like, to me, it's just, like, I understand 
humans and humans with money especially their morals and ethics are often yeah. you know a little yeah. bit skewed yeah it doesn't it wouldn't surprise me let's mm-hmm. just say that it wouldn't mm-hmm. surprise me in the least mm-hmm. okay fuck that's crazy though did you like it i did love it i really loved it like yeah. i kind of like it almost felt like hockey tmz a little bit but i kind of liked it you know it just like, yeah people like uh trashy stuff <laughs> <laughs> next week we'll talk about Veshkin and his <laughs> affiliation with the uh, the big man uh, the big man the big man no i don't think you can do that one well maybe in 10 years after yeah, it yeah 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 maybe it's a little but too raw right now when i just did very rough research it doesn't look good mm. it's like it's so bad that i just don't want even to you've to ruin my favorite boy i don't want to think about it wow that's how bad it is oh god i'm you're really setting this up by the way <laughs> 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 okay next thing I'll just do it. no but I genuinely hope that it's because his family is being threatened it's sad when that's the reason you I, have to put towards it I would say it is there's no way it's not mm-hmm. right they're just too powerful he's like a good marketable guy but again no evidence we have no idea so yeah. stay tuned stay tuned <laughs> yeah. god damn man well do you remember that one commercial that Obi was in like for ESPN, I yeah, think yeah, it was, yeah. The the, he, the backstrom and him was uh, spies. Well, see, the one that I saw was Varlamov. Yes, it was but, Varlamov. Yes, but yeah, exactly. Varlamov. And then he's like, "What do you do?" And then he said, "Especially in Russia, I'm a Russian spy." <laughs> but it's like, it's kind of a little fitting. Like, yeah. Did they stop those kinds of videos? Yeah, they stopped it for some reason. I don't remember seeing or, a, any funny NHL. Do we commercial. have we just not seen them recently? Like, dude, I can think I mean, back to so many. Classics. I mean, the ads. Are just like about gambling these days. So. Oh, God, yeah, no, I don't think they made any. Do you remember, I, I remember. Do you remember, I remember the Swedish Twins? Oh, I was just ah, gonna say. You know, you know. <laughs> Dude, that's actually one of the best videos, like, of I, all time. When I was young, I didn't know what they're talking about. Oh, you, <laughs> you, you sweet, sweet summer <laughs> child. Like, I remember they're like Swedish. They got excited, right? And then they cut the scenes come in, and everyone's putting their money away <laughs> in their pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and there's this one guy just playing the music uh, and he's actually vibing <laughs> yeah. and the dude, their dance is just like the little hands yeah. in the air and it's just like honestly yeah. like those are good those are good those are gems yeah, dude those do you remember gems. the NHL road trip one no dude you never watched the road trip one no okay I'm actually okay I have to I, I, you have to watch this one then cause dude this is a classic and oh my god I think it was for the all-star game I can't remember how long it was over 10 years ago I'm telling you right now like Phil Kessel is in a Boston Bruins jersey so we're talking mm-hmm. like the good old days. The good, <laughs> the good old days. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Vetchkin! Speak of the devil, but so that's why you didn't like him. Uh, kind of too cringe. <laughs> Maybe, dude. Crosby was in a lot of commercials too, like a lot of commercials for ESPN. Honestly, for like every like. Dude, Sidney Crosby has those uh, this Tim Horton series with Nathan yeah, McKinnon, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, Sid the kid's everywhere, bro. Is that why you didn't like him? Why? Okay, give me. Why do you never like Sidney no, Crosby? Here's the thing. My thing with Sidney Crosby is that so us living in Canada, right? Us being Canadian, every fucking human being in my grade five classroom was like, "Oh, Sidney Crosby." Oh, what's wrong with that? I. They say that about. Matthews, Loved McDavid, Ovechkin. <laughs> My grade five self looked up to this man in admiration. Because I think, because yeah. grade five lined up to us for us, I think it was 06, 07, right? Like that was like the season, because that, that's when I started watching hockey. 06, 07? Yeah. That, that, was when, that was when like Mike Green, oh, Ovechkin, oh, their yeah, Semin was dude. tearing it up. Alexander out. Semin. Yeah. The, the, the bongo drums. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? The bongo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the announcer's like, that's not a hockey player. <laughs> what a legend that, that guy yeah, was. That is one of the greatest fights ever. <laughs> but um, yeah, dude, honestly, like, I don't know. You hated Crosby because he was good. I was jealous. Why? Because About what? Because he's not on the Canucks? Because he kicks Ovechkin's ass every single I year? Think that's what it was. I think it's because so I needed... What made you fall in love with Ovechkin? Dude. Go back. If anyone is listening to this point right now, go back onto YouTube right now. Look up like an Ovechkin highlight reel from his rookie season, mm-hmm. and you'll understand <laughs> the tinted visors, oh, yeah, the, dude, the yellow laces. Like this man was destroying every human being in his path, and he was sniping 
mm-hmm. as he was doing it. Like he was who I would have dreamed to yeah. be like if I was a hockey player. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Physical. So Crosby sexy. has great highlights though. Crosby has a big ass. That's what Crosby <laughs> Dude, has. He right? has so much skill and the vision. He was playing with such shitty players back then. <sighs> Kunitz, <laughs> Kun, no, Kunitz was one of the better ones. Yeah. <laughs> Something Malone. Oh, wait, Mike. I was about to say Post Malone. <laughs> nice, yeah. Mike Ryan. Mal- I don't know Ryan Malone, but I don't know, man. Like, listen, do I? Am I sad that was it Brooks like that absolutely fucking demolished him and ruined his like like concussed him mm. at that Winter Classic? Like, I can't remember which Capitals player it was, but I think it was like. It was, right? Like That was a horrible cheap remember. shot. It really derailed what would have been an incredible career. Before- oh, sorry. Already incredible career. But- <laughs> like, yeah, but- watch out there. No, before that, Crosby was like Different. points-wise. He was like McDavid yeah. gap with yeah. other players. Yeah, he was. Back before the concussion. Yeah. There was, uh, I was talking to some people on Discord, right? Pete Crosby gets very disrespected mm-hmm. now. Like at this point or do you think all throughout? At this point, wow! Now that his career is like kind of kind of going downhill, not downhill, but like you could see the age. But Ovechkin is still produced like longevity wise, sure. right? He's gonna become the greatest goal scorer of all time. And it's it's funny how the script changed because it always used to be Crosby, mm-hmm. gold medals, mm-hmm. Stanley Cup, mm-hmm. R. Ross, everything, right? Now it's kind of changed. It's like Crosby was good, but he has concussions. But Ovechkin became the greatest goal scorer of all time. Mm-hmm. Uh, even still, though, like. If you look at the resumes on paper, like Crosby still is winning. Like he has, you know, it just all happened to be in the earlier parts of his career, mm-hmm. right? I mean, I, when's the last time the Penguins was it twenty? No, 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 two thousand nine. When yeah, Malkin the Wings, won right? the Conn Smythe, not Crosby. <laughs> yeah, is that like an Eagle Steph Curry situation with the Finals MVP? Like, did... no, no, no. Malkin carried. I. Oh yeah, that's sure. what I think. Yeah. That's when I fell in love with Malkin. Yeah, and I bought a Malkin T-shirt. Wow. Yeah. And then Pete, some people are giving me shit. I don't know. Sidney Crosby's just... I respect him. I wish that he never got that concussion. And I wish we could have seen him. Because like even with that, his points and everything, if you compare it to OV, like it's, it's, they're, they're pretty similar right now. If anything, he might be in front still. Despite missing a couple, like, it's like a couple hundred more games, I'm pretty sure. Like... You can't help but just be like, damn, this might be one. And honestly, like it is, it is a shame, I guess, that like he's... He's still considered one of the greatest players ever, though, right? Crosby. Why do you think people just dis- like what? What are they saying when they're saying he's disrespecting him? Like, are they saying he's shit now? They can't be saying that. I think what it is is because the younger kids remember Crosby post concussion, right. but we're old enough to remember pre concussion. Yeah, yeah, different. Yeah, it's kind of like saying how, but I it was weird because like. That was the first time where I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like defending your own generation mm-hmm. player. It's like, you know how you don't like Wayne Gretzky? Right, 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 right. But that is very disrespecting yeah, <laughs> the older sure. generation. For sure. Kind of felt like that, how the younger generation is like, Crosby is like trash. Look at McDavid. Look at McDavid. <laughs> yeah. Like whatever, McDavid right? is so much better. <laughs> Do you think Bedard's going to pick it up too? Is he the next one? If he comes to Vancouver. <laughs> when he comes, yeah. Play really shitty over there for a couple of years. We'll sign him cheap. No. Uh, My manager was saying that we're having a talk about him. He thinks he's going to be better than McDavid. I said, okay, buddy. Let's, let's chill Let's chill for a second here. It's, but It's always funny to me, people saying, like comparing rookies to players. Right. Established players already. It's like, yeah. how do you know? <laughs> how do you know this six overall pick is going to be like a Chris Pronger type. Right. You have no idea. What is it? What do those comparables mean? Right? Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. This is our Oli Levy <laughs> trauma talk. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. What was PD's comparable? Do you remember? I don't remember. Mm. Cause I'm trying to think of who he is. Oh, if was it, it Datsuk? T- no. If it was Datsuk, we would remember. Mm. It was probably like, Matt Duchesne? Really? Yeah. Like at I, the time when he was getting drafted. Yeah, it's sure, like maybe. it's just like I don't remember. Yeah. I didn't care. Yeah, no. I just right. remember saying, This is this is the guy. <laughs> this is the comparable. Like, bruh. Oh, oh, were you happy with the PD pick though? I didn't even know who he I, was, dude. I hated yeah. it. <laughs> Another Swede. There's this video where these guys are doing a podcast, and fair enough. I had no idea who Pedersen was. Yeah. And they're like shocked. 
devastated. Really? Yeah. That's literally. exactly what they say. Oh, right. another they're, sweet. They're like, who the fuck <laughs> is Peterson? <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't think I remember that Another guy's like, why do we always draft Swedish guys? <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, that was me too. Yeah, for sure. I was like, especially hockey guy didn't the hockey guy didn't like it mm-hmm. i didn't like no one in vancouver liked it mm-hmm. i we thought it was crazy we, everyone wanted uh velarity <laughs> those guys are like the next jonathan taves right. <laughs> 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 skip on velarity well pd for a song yeah kids kids are stud man dude <laughs> you used to hate chat gpt though i was scared of you were ai behind i am and i brought you i to still the am behind i feel like really? and, and yes i do appreciate because i think even but yeah sorry. but i think for me it was a perspective yeah. switch because at first it was just like oh like it's over it's like over. we're literally done for yeah you know but, what i mean but what changed what really changed is just this idea that i still think we're done for sorry why do you think it was over like I mean, obviously, like everyone always is fearful of change in, 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 in any aspect. Like even myself, I don't really necessarily like change. Right. Especially with AI, it's such a revolutionary change. Mm-hmm. And even just within my own creative aspects, I yeah. have all these plans, I have all these, and suddenly it's interrupted. It's fucking. Yeah. And to me, it was almost offensive. The, the AI could copy what you do in 10 in seconds ten se- the years and make it better. Of exactly. Years of work is gone. It's gone. And it's it, it almost like it really like demotivated me and just made me realize man it's just gonna start automating everything and like Mm -hmm. you know and all those fearful things they're replacing your jobs all these different things but i really saw it playing out in my life Mm -hmm. but then what i realized is listen i still think we're done but we're not going to be done within our lifetime (laughs) so so while i'm here let me use this incredible tool what is that quote make hay when the day is bright or something i don't know (laughs) but i kind of what does that mean like you're saying use so, it while you can so when the day is bright take advantage mm-hmm, right is exactly what i'm trying to say <laughs> with that butcher quote um so it's like you're embracing ai yeah. right not fearing it even though i might know like hey but that might just be my irrational fear too obviously but it's such an incredible tool i think the direction that we're going is i don't think ai can 100 percent so, like i don't think ai can 100 percent do everything for us Mm -hmm. i think at the end of the day there has to be human judgment right creatively numbers wise right someone has a check yeah right it can't be perfect okay maybe i just sound like a boomer now no but i feel like though it's 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 like both worlds right because like now say you had like so you had a writing room back in the day of like 20 writers yeah and then you have like a main guy or whatever now it's like there's still one guy in that room assessing Mm -hmm. it but now you have like 20 computers or something you know what i mean it's like you won't necessarily need that writing brainstorming part. You'll yeah. just need the finessing and finalizing part, mm-hmm. which might also become improved one day. Right. And also I know um, before cars were invented, right? If you didn't have a horse, you can't travel, right? Mm-hmm. There's carriages, like single horses that people traveled on. But then this AI revolution is kind of like how horses, horses, like I'm saying the horses are us right. right and the cars are ai yeah and i'm clinging to the horse and i'm scared of you the are car. the horse yeah oh, i'm the horse you're the horse <laughs> and i'm scared you're scared of the, of the car your that's job is going to get taken away right you need to carry uh, you need to carry the carriages you need to do a lot of stuff mm-hmm. people people are feeding you right now but if there's no jobs what are you going to do mm-hmm. as a horse now you're scared horse you're a yeah. horse you're yeah. scared right yeah and the car comes in but by the car coming in, it created so much more jobs mm. than what the horse could do, right? Think about all the people that work for GM, mm. all the car parts, all the tire parts, glass, wow, factories, so that's electricity for the factories, mm-hmm. power. So maybe we are kind of overestimating mm. AI. Yeah. But at the same time, that's a dangerous thought to have. No, especially I, with AI. I really like that perspective, though. To be quite honest. like that, mm-hmm. I really didn't think about it that way. But you're right. That's why I definitely choose to embrace AI. Yeah. I give them my personal info. <laughs> I put in my credit card statement numbers wow. and ChatGPT. I say, "Hey, ChatGPT, invest ten thousand of my money." Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, for a second, I was really on that train, and then I was like, "What the fuck's this guy saying right now?" Um, no, but like. It, if you don't use AI, you are getting left behind. Yeah. You're going to be the horse. 
And like, but like the the and the funny too, thing too is like people are gonna point to like you know a chat GPT like the easy easily accessible AIs and just be like well this is it or like oh it's kind of cool but like this isn't gonna take my job or whatever. but like you're looking at the most basic basic levels right there's so many more in development still furthering apparently there's way better ones than chat GPT that's and chat GPT's the CEO has no stake so it's kind of a experimental company okay, really yeah yeah. It's for the public. Right. What's not for the public? Exactly. And also a scary thing is that apparently they dumb down ChatGPT. That's what I mean. Though. A lot of people are saying, wow, it's a lot dumber right, right. now. So people are saying they open AI made it dumber. Yeah. Because maybe we're, the society wasn't ready for it. Mm. It was too big of a change. Mm-hmm. I remember when Jordan Peterson was talking about it in, like, in the very beginning. like He would say, like, give me an essay about all these like different like sociological religious different religions like write me an essay about but i could i didn't even understand right. the topic he was saying right and apparently chat gpt wrote an essay better than most of his students Shh. in 10 less than a minute crazy but i don't know if i can do that now all right like they probably like yeah they, they, what, what do you call it? It down. they nerfed it they like, yeah, yeah they yeah, nerfed right. it was, nerfed it was it. too buffed god but it makes sense because why would you give they would never let us have a tool that good. They would never let us. Yeah, be it, was, like, it was just a testing phase. Exactly. It's like, what do people search? Mm. And then for a month, okay, got the data. Because after, um, there's a, in statistics, after 30, 30 trials, then you, you can predict mm. there's the normal distribution. Mm. So. Okay. And we've maybe. reached that point. Maybe. Theoretically. Yeah, it's another conspiracy. You know what we should talk more about? Hmm. Conspiracy theories. Because I know you love conspiracy theories. <laughs> I don't love talking about... Oh, you love them just as much as I do. Shut the fuck up. Not as much as you. No, I don't love them. I just know they exist. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, sorry. I, I, I phrased that wrong. You believe no. in conspiracy theories. I like talking about it. No. I, I'll just say I had a lot of people in my life close in my life that really really believe in conspiracy theories and believed especially in my childhood years and like you know in those formative years like they've really played an impact on you and so i always think when you're young exactly right and like when yeah so uh, we definitely should we should we you know we definitely should we should bring them up but i want to do a little bit more research on it though before we talk about it watch some youtube videos (laughs) yeah i hope i said enough conspiracy theory about wayne gretzky right it's just a theory because you know well wayne's pr team is going to come down on us just he, like he could actually sue for defamation wow bring it on Te- technically wayne, no he can yeah. right but it's not gonna work you out. know what add, add this to the trial because you know what your wine is shit trial? too <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> uh, i've actually never had it but we used to sell it at white spot really yeah the wayne gretzky wine yeah i remember it was there see even him saying Wayne Gretzky wine is so lame compared <laughs> to Jordan's. Right. Because Jordan's, their shoes is icon. Icon. It's iconic. Like, I, like Jordan's, like obviously it's his name, but like you don't even think about, like you think of his name obviously, but it's, it's its own thing. The he, Jordan's. He wore the shoes. Right. The same exact shoes, the design when he was a rookie. Yeah. My, Wayne Gretzky winery. <laughs> we should actually find out what it's called. Wait, what is it called? It's called it's a, what if it's like a billion dollar yeah, business? It, or just- <laughs> oh, it absolutely is, too. Wayne Gretzky. Wait, how do you spell his name? Bra- this is a great one. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's just not that important. Um, Wayne Gretzky Estates. Estates? It's in Niagara Stone, Ontario. You know, the ratings are 4.3. So, I mean, hey. We should, we should leave a review. <laughs> What Did, happened to the New Jersey? <laughs> <laughs> Has Rick Tockett tried the wine? <laughs> what does Rick Tockett think about your wine? Yeah. Over under on how many fucking bottles you can drink. Yeah. God, no. Dude, you went dragon boating today, eh? Yeah, I did. Dude, yeah. you must be exhausted. I don't understand people. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand why kayaking or any water sport is fun. Why? What do you mean? You're like literally on the water. It's so. I know. I love the water. Yeah. I love swimming. Right. But it's just like you're in the sun. It's hot. You're just rotating your shoulders. (laughs) You're just you're just gliding on water, not even going that fast. You were on a boat with a lot of people, though. Yeah, but I'm talking kayaking in general. Okay, but see, I think I would prefer kayaking over a dragon boating situation. What's the appeal of kayaking, though, dude? Like, well, it's like going on a walk on the water. 
Mm. Like a nice stroll. Oh. But you're also alone. Mm. And you're kind of, you have your own space. I like, I, granted, I don't kayak a lot. I've only in kayaked. In the like, sun, though. Would you, you would not go walking in the sun. What do you mean? Like, put a hat on, put some sunscreen no, on. No, no, no. What? No, no one goes walking in like scorching hot sun, like 20, 30 degrees, sunny, open field. No one does that. That's what it kind of feels like to me. Fair. Okay. So you're saying that. In the morning, maybe I could see. Maybe the picture of it in my mind is a lot more beautiful the last than the actual kayaking? reality. I went duck kayaking at Deep Cove once like eight years ago. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, thanks for listening to the podcast, guys. Hope you like the original format in the beginning of the video. We're trying to get back into it, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you for your TikTok support. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That. I mean, honestly, it's crazy. It's still going crazy right now, too. And Yeah. Very blessed. Yeah, we really are. Yeah. And we want to keep it growing. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. so happy about it. We hope that you're happy about, you know, all the content that we're going to be putting on there. Mm-hmm. Um, remember to uh, send, still send any questions or any. Yeah, we uh, didn't get any questions. No, no, time. we did. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 send any questions, guys, that you, literally um, hockey related, you know, life related. Relationships, love career, related. You know, you always bring in the religion, relationship stuff. Religion, death, your addictions. Wow, yes. And we'll tell you all about ours. and we'll tell you yeah the solutions so remember uh write question in your subject line and send it to at canadian jock 96 um we'd love to hear from you yeah comment no on a serious note please that wasn't serious (laughs) (laughs) that that was too dramatic you know i I just tone it down a little bit sorry thanks for listening and remember always (laughs) <laughs> no, no, that, so that had potential.